One of the most useful but perhaps hidden features in Infysical is secret referencing and importing. So imagine we have a project, we have three secrets here, database URL, db password, and db user, and we also have a folder billing with some other secrets inside of it. And the project has three different environments, development, staging, and production. We can see that production is currently an empty environment, so it's missing all the secrets. If we go explore the development environment, we can see a database URL is actually referencing other secrets. You can see that this is a typical MongoDB uh, access token, and it's referencing DB password and DB user from the current environment. Now, right now, the value of DB password is password, and the value of DB user is user. So what this means is that the database URL will be Mongo slash slash password colon user and, and so on. Now, if we change the value of database password to one, two, three, this value will also be propagated to the database user. In other words, you only need to update the value once and it gets propagated to all the references out there. Now, imagine we want to go explore the staging environment. You can see here that the database URL is referencing the database URL from the dev environment. So how that works is now, whenever you update the database URL in the dev environment, or whenever you update the database password there, these values get uh, propagated to the staging environment too. So you, again, you only need to update it once and then it gets propagated across all the references across your infrastructure. Now it gets even better because if you go in the billing folder, here we have a Stripe key. So how that works is that this value of the Stripe key is actually being referenced from the development environment in the billing folder that there is another Stripe key. So whenever we update a value in that folder, in that environment, this value gets propagated further. Now, secret importing can actually get even more interesting. So let's go explore the production environment. Here, we can see that there are currently no secrets at all. What we wanna do is we wanna click on this drop down and click add import. We will basically create a secret link or a secret import to the development environment. So once this is created, you can see that this green um, bar pops up. And if you click on it, you can see that the secrets are actually embedded from the development environment. What this means is that not just the values like with referencing, but the whole secret, the key and value pair are actually embedded from the development environment. Now, imagine we want to replicate the environment's production to be almost ex an exact replica of development, but we want to change just one secret, let's say DB user. Now, whenever we add this DB user secret here and we specify a value of user one, two, three, four, this is the value that will actually take the effect. Uh, so you can see that the value is currently present in the dashboard and hence it's overridden by the value in the dashboard. So in other words, secret referencing in and physical serve to reference the values of secrets. And then as soon as you update the value of a particular secrets, it gets propagated across all of the infrastructure and secret importing is served to reference both the key and the value pair. So it imports the key and it sometimes imports the whole folder, but within that folder, it imports both keys and values uh, from that folder. So currently, whenever we update anything in development, those changes will be propagated to production automatically unless there are certain overrides.